Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. My name is Diane and I do collage and mixed media. Today I have got my big collage book. I am almost done with it. I have the last few pages. I haven't counted, but I'm getting really, really, really close to the end. And I was about to go through just my 10 of images to see um, maybe what to put down on these next pages. So I thought I would bring you along as I just tuck them in and just kind of go from there. So I hope that you stay and join me. Okay, so this is the current collage journal that I have been working on. I started um, doing pages in this back in April 26, 2015, and I had done just a few pages in it and then stopped completely. And I had not done any pages in this book since then until sometime during the summer. Um, I think it was this summer. I'm not sure. Um, I just kind of decided to start working in this again, and I'm so glad that I did. I have done so many pages in it since then. It is so fat, um, and I am so close to being done. So I had just finished yesterday. I just finished this three-page spread yesterday, and um, it took me quite a while to do this page. Um, I actually had started cutting this floral image out back a month ago. It was over a month ago. And I had, even before then, had glued down these base pages. And when I did it, it was really late at night and I was tired, but I wanted to get those down. And so I just kind of did it quickly and I did a really crummy job at it. And there was a big wrinkle here. I had accidentally gotten glue over here on this side and I tried to wipe it up with just a really, really lightly damp cloth and it put a big watermark on the image and I just kind of got so frustrated with how things were going with it that I just stopped working on it completely. And I hadn't done any, since then, any pages in here. I just kind of stopped because this is where I was at and I had started cutting this out. I didn't even know if it was gonna work in this space. And I knew it was gonna take me so long to do this because it is so, so fragile. It is so delicate. It took me um, quite a while to cut this out. Um, but I had started on it, just kind of had the middle done. And, and then I just kind of stopped because I was just so frustrated with how this page was starting with all these imperfections in it already. Um, but the other night I was sitting there and needed something just kind of slow and meditative to do. And I looked over and I saw this sitting on my work area. And so I started cutting it out. And yesterday I got all the pieces together and finished it. And I'm really, really loving the way that this turned out. I am so super excited to see this one. Um, and then I went ahead and did this page to go on uh, the opposite page here. I had already had this image pulled, um, thinking that that was where it was gonna go, and that's where it ended up. So um, I have not, regrettably, been filming any of making any of these pages um, for quite a while. If you look back in my collage, um, my collage playlist, I do have lots of videos where I did pages in my first book that I have like this. Um, I have one of these that is already completed um, and I do have a lot of videos where I was working in it. These, I have not filmed any of them and I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, whenever I first started working in this is when um, not long after I um, was coming out of COVID and I was really, really sick for a very long time with it. Um, and I was feeling better and feeling creative and had started doing pages in here. And I was so excited to be working in this book again. And I couldn't talk. I, I couldn't say a couple words without coughing. And so um, I had tried to make a few videos working in it 
and I just couldn't stop coughing. And so that just got kind of frustrating and I just didn't try again. And then that kind of turned into, it had been so long since I had done any pages like this um, in this journal. And I was just, I think, needing to work on these and go through these pages slowly and just for me, um, not for anybody else. And it was difficult in the sense that I love to share with you and show you what I'm creating. But then again, I knew that since I was coming out of years and years and years of doing this type of collage, I inside knew that I just needed this to do this for me. And so that is another reason why I just didn't have not been um, making videos while I've created any of these pages. The other reason is, is that I've been really taking my time with them. Um, this page here is the perfect example. I, I started working on this back in January. I think it was probably um, the first week of January I had started was when I had found these these back pages and was thinking about kind of how this page was going to come together. Um, whenever I first visualized it, I saw a person here on this side and um, with the words that they were, the way they were flowing across here, I saw just flowers and butterflies or things like that just flowing along with the words. And then I kind of stumbled across this image in one of my flower books and I thought, you know, that might work in this space. And all the whole time I was cutting this out and spending all this time cutting it, I still didn't even know if it was gonna work here. Um, and I didn't know that it was gonna work in this space until I got it completely cut out. Um, and it did, it works perfectly, but I've just really been taking my time with some of these pages and just letting them come to be as, as they're wanting to come to be. So in the past, whenever I did a lot of these. Um, my kids were a lot younger and I was a full-time mom. And so I was always there for my kids. And so it was, I had this mentality that if I'm gonna work on a page and the way that my brain was at that time was if I started something, I needed to finish it. And so um, I would just kind of plow through pages really quick and get them videoed and and just and then go on to the next page but with these I have been just slowly letting them kind of build and come together and so I right now I just kind of haven't figured out how to make that work as far as getting that process um, in in a video that would be presented here as far as a process video from beginning to end um, so anyways that this is just kind of, you know, I just been flipping through some of the pages in here. The ones at the beginning, um, a lot of these are the original pages that I did back in 2015. Um, a couple of them I did not like, the original image, and I actually um, covered over them. This one I know that I covered over. I know that there's this one here I had covered over, um, and it felt really good to kind of get rid of those that I just didn't like, that I just kind of tried to force out. Um, so, but then like here, this is one of the original pages from 2015, but these are new and I was able to just kind of blend them all together. So it looks like they were actually created at about the same time. Um, but that is just kind of bad. What's going on here? But I have got, uh, let's see, let's get back here to the back. I have just got these final few pages that I have in my in my book here to work on. So there's there's quite a few. I mean, there's it doesn't look like there's that many, but there's there's a bit more than than you would think. So I had found this image while I was going through my big huge magazine purge not long ago, and I had actually was thinking about putting it on the very last page. I had clipped out these words that I had found and it um, says, I think there's another word here. Oh, let's continue the conversation. 
And I thought this actually might be kind of neat to put on the very last page of this journal, just as a, you know, hey, this might be the last page of my journal, but guess what? Um, I'm gonna still keep on talking and I'm gonna still keep on creating. So meet me in the next journal. And I got this cut out and I don't like how the words fit on here. And if they were not cursive and I was able to cut them out more evenly, I think I would like it better. So I just kind of set that to the side. I had also found this really beautiful set of hands and this is actually clipped. So I'm going to do something like this as far as making it look like um, the floral is being held on with those hands. So since then though, since I'm not gonna use those words, I think I'm gonna move it over here. And I've got another image that I had found in my stack that was I had come across as I was going through these new other magazines. So I'm really glad that I finally sat down and took the time to purge through um, a lot of my magazines because I have so many and I have just kind of collected a few in this um, tray. I called it a tin earlier, but it's actually a vintage like little TV tray. Um, and I've just got just some images here that I have pulled out, ones that kind of really caught my eye. I didn't really know if, when, or if ever I would use them, but there was something about them that I liked. And so I keep this on my easel so that I've always got a stack of stuff right here, right out and open if I'm just feeling like working on something. I don't need to like really kind of look through a bunch of stuff. I That's kind of my go-to stack that I grab first. But I come across this and I absolutely love it. I'm a little bummed because it's in a taller size magazine. And so in order to make her fit, I'm gonna have to cut off the end of her shoes. I'm gonna have to go to the tippy top of her head and cut off the end of her shoes. Um, but I thought that these two looked really nice side by side. So I think I might um, put those here. I'm not gonna put them here because I've got this little small tip in page and I like how these look side by side. I don't think that I want to try to um, put it here and then have to find some things that go go on this page that kind of match it, um, which I don't have to make it match, but that's just the way that things are kind of coming together. So this is another just example of that little, one of those little small pages and how I kind of just have it. So it all just kind of works together somewhat, not completely, but I like how these all go together. With this, I don't think I want this distraction of having a center page in there. So I'm gonna just kind of tuck these in here. I do have no other really idea of what to do with this. I don't have any words in my mind. Um, I actually, when I see this, I will probably cut the wings um, around this guy so that I can tuck his wings over her hand. Uh, I was also thinking about putting some wings on her. I haven't decided where I want to put them. At first I thought about maybe putting them so that they're on the shadow in the back, but I think I might put them here even though it's gonna kind of it's gonna cover up her face. You can still kind of see the body behind it. I like how her skirt's this bright purplish magenta color and that's the color of the flower right here also. But I'm liking how that is looking. So I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't have any idea how else that's gonna go. Um, and then as far as my tin goes, let's just kind of see what we got here. This one is another one that I had found um, when I was going through things. It's also from a Bella Grace magazine. And I really liked this quote. And so I have those sitting together in my, in my tray here. Um, which that might work over here on this little half page. I will have to trim it some, but 
whatever image I put on the other side, I could make it maybe bigger also and just kind of expand this page so it's not this little thin, thin one, which is actually, I think what I did back here, I'll use this one as an example again. Yeah, because this one is also very thin, the same uh, width as this one. I wanted to use as much as I could as this image, so I... Um, so these are both larger than the page that's actually sandwiched in between. Um, so I'm going to just stick that there. This, um, I have pulled both of these out. I think this came from a project called Magazine. So this is kind of the front page and then the back page of, of the magazine. I thought this would be really neat also to put on the back. I... Uh, I have a journal so whenever I start my new journal because I I could put it back here and have this be my last page but I kind of like the idea of maybe starting and finishing a journal with these two pages so that it does go together um, so I'm going to set those to the side even though this would be really neat on the back Let's see. I'm kind of looking for something to go with this. Let's see what we got. And this is just, just me just kind of looking through things. I really, I have no plan right now. I have no plan at all. I don't, I have nothing um, inspiring me to like create a certain page. Um, so I thought just sometimes when I don't, just by looking through things, it, um, it just kind of helps pages start to build and come together and and let them start to grow so I wish that I had not cut that person out on the other side but that actually can maybe go on this very back page I'm just going to tuck it in there on the very end um I would need to cut her out I could cut out her profile still have this connected but cut out her profile so I need something to put on the other side of her these are some of these are from a different magazine that I had picked well this one I had picked this up at half price bookstore for $1.99 it has some really really cool um, images in it I really like her too it's the same girl and I really love this And that's cool. Let's see. This mentions that uh, says, yes, I am perfect and vulnerable and sometimes afraid. That doesn't change the truth that I'm also brave and worthy of love and belonging. I kind of like that with this also. So I'm gonna tuck that there. And that would actually kind of work as far as the colors go. Let me lift this bad boy up. The colors of this with what's going on behind it, since it will be, you'll be able to see the top and the bottom of that. Um, no, where's my scissors? Let's just do this. Not, I know that there's that space there, but for now, I'm not going to try to even that up. I'm just going to do this so that I can maybe lay it on a couple of things. This girl actually might, could go here. Because she even matches all of that. I like how all of that looks together. Um... I'm going to leave her there. Yeah, see, I really like how all those, these two for sure, look together. Okay. Let me put that there. So then we have those there. Get those hands up. And here's, I've got a tip out page to work on. Those are always fun. I can maybe put this in the back. Um, this is also where it's just 
so, it is so um, curved because my journal has gotten so, so thick. Let's see. This is pretty. This actually might work here. I don't know if her face would, it's too bad that her face will cover up. Cover up that text, cause that actually would look really nice together. But let's see about this. That pink is making it difficult to kind of see it. And I'm not sure what I could put there, but maybe I've got a quote or something that might go that I could maybe put there. I might tuck that in. I don't know about that. Um, that one's iffy, very iffy on that one. But I'm gonna set it there. Set it there anyways. Maybe this would look better. It almost looks like she's smelling the flower. I might need to cut that off because this dark on the side is also kind of throwing throwing me off on how how I'm seeing it. Let's see what else? Really sure if anything else is gonna stick out right now. I'm wanting I'm trying to move this over so you can see what I'm looking at. I do really like her. That would maybe even work if I did something like that. Since it's the same the same girl. These go together, so that could be very easily put put on my page. It'd be very I don't I would have to try to do something different because it's very similar as far as the flow of the text and everything as the one that I just completed. That might be a little bit of a challenge to try to uh, do something different with it. I really like the expression on her face. She's very sure of herself, very confident, and I really, really like that. This might be a good one for the beginning of my next journal, of the next one. That seems like a good starting place. Um, Hey guys, I'm already like, I'm already working on the next journal. I haven't finished this one yet. So. That would also be good at the very beginning. These are, some of these are like backgrounds. These go in my other, I haven't, uh, some of these are ones actually that go in a different folder. Yeah, these are all like background ones that I pulled out um, to go in my folder where I keep images that were good for backgrounds. I'll take those out. This would uh, work on that tip-in page, probably. It's probably really close to being the right, the right size. Put that there. Look at her. Look at this girl right behind it. She could go right. It could be 
do something like that. Or I could put it on this side. Okay. I will tuck those there. My journal is falling apart, which I'm not surprised because it's so thick. I'm not quite sure where that has come undone. I don't know if it's fixable. So, um, there's a little bit of book text that was stuck on something. The things that I find laying around here. I found this, uh, while I was cleaning out my room, I found this uh, vintage um, cologne box. So I thought that would be really cool just to keep keep my text, my little clipped um, pieces of book text that I have taken out. So that goes over there. I've got going on over here. I wish there was a way for me to zoom this out so you can see all of it. Let's see. Yeah, that's as good as it's going to get. I can raise you up a little bit higher, but I'm already having to stand on my tippy toes every now and then to make sure that I've got everything in the screen. And this, this is the back cover of a Bella Grace magazine. Actually, this is really cool. If I used this, I would um, tape it in to make another page. I've done that a couple times in here because the, these back covers of that magazine are so cool. So this one is actually the back cover. And um, I just took a piece of tape and covered over where it had this white the white section um, but that's a back cover this is a back cover and I'm quite sure there's another one in here and all I did was just take some washi tape and I taped it in to make another page um, uh, this one's a back cover also of the magazine so I was able to use both sides um, I think there might be one more but I don't like I, I try to use, um, I really, really, truly try to use as much of what I collect as I can, so um, not let anything go to waste. This is really, really neat, and I would maybe stick this in here, but I'm not sure um, if I need to be adding any anything else to thicken my journal up at all, so... something that would go with this one. This would actually work in a sense because it says smile, breathe, go slowly. And just that expression of, of sitting with the hand out makes me think of, you know, definitely sitting and breathing or this one, obviously. work. That's a maybe. I'll put that there. That's a maybe. Okay. This would also work with this one. And you know, I, I don't need to make them all work together. I just, whenever I have a page that's open, the way that my style has been evolving as I've been working through this journal, I just like, um, I like the, the pages that are open together to be somewhat 
uh, cohesive. There's something about them that just kind of makes them work together. So they're they're each on their own, but they're also together as one. Um, so that that's why I that's why I'm doing doing it this way and and saying the things that I am is because I just like how it looks whenever they're they're separate but they're they're also like joined together so I might put that there too not sure I love these ones where the girl is dressed up as Frida love 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 them And I know it's because of the colors. It's another background one. Okay. would actually maybe be cute. Right. Here, I cut, cut her out and placed her there. Put those together. Okay, well, I've got five million other images that I could be going through but I think that this might be nice in my in my nomad book where's my nomad book I've also got <laughs> I have things tucked in here that I think will maybe work in it so probably should get a file folder something a little bit better because I don't want them to get damaged. And I know that a few of these that I've had tucked in here for a long time um, are starting to get a little frayed around the edges if they're bigger than the magazine. And if the image, the magazine image is bigger than my the book. So one perfect example of that is this one page here. I've had this page in this book since I started working on it because it just seems like it, it just wants to be here. It just wants to go here. I haven't put it here yet because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. But actually today I just finished a page in this book. Let me see if I can, I just finished this page. And as I was just kind of messing around in it and I looked at this one yet again, um, I think I might I might cut this out since I've been on such a big, huge, let's cut everything out kick. Um, so, so yeah, I might do that later. That might be something good to work on tonight. So, put that back. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good start. Those two look nicer together. I think this is a pretty good start for some pages in here. Let me clean this up and I'll just show you what I got. I need to kind of go through these again and um, maybe take a few of them out that I know I won't do in this journal. chatting with you all has been
these here. I'm not sure which one I'll work on next. I actually might work on these next because I really, really like how this is how this looks. So for sure, I will be adding some flowers. I might give her some butterfly wings, uh, just things like that. Got this one here that we've got that I've got in progress. Kind of pretty sure I'm going to put her wings like that. Have that there. I got these. I know that I want her here because I want her looking in towards the journal. So I could do something like that. There you go. Do something, something like that. That's a lot of peaches and blues. <laughs> this is way out of my color zone. I am usually in your face bright color. Um, but this is, yeah, totally different than what I usually gravitate towards. Usually my pages are Boom, full of color, full of color. So that one will be a whole lot different to work on. Um, okay, I might tuck this here. I don't know if this will work or not, if this will happen, but kind of look how, like how those work together. And honestly, I haven't ever put like a background like this in here with the, as far as a house and things like that, but I like I like the pathway, I like the flowers, um, especially since it is, we are deep in winter right now here in Nebraska and everything is brown and gray and white and just blah. And I am so ready for green outside. So that might be why I'm drawn, drawn to those right now for sure. Um, I've got another little tipping page. I've got, Oh my goodness, is that really it? Wow. Okay, well, um, that's pretty darn, I might get this done a whole lot quicker than I thought I would. Um, all right, well, I don't know about that, but I kind of like it. There's the edge of the paper, so I'm not sure. I'm not, I would could I could tr go ahead and trim her hair closer, give her a little bit of a haircut, so that I saw more of the curl here. Or I could cut her out and put her on this side. So I'll leave those there. I really do like that. But that's they would work together if I put some roses and things that are around the same color on that side just to pull both of these together. It does match her lips. Um, well, I might leave that there. It's, it's this right here that I need to find something to go in that space. So something, I know I've got some, I've got some here. This isn't what I would use, but if I did something like that. But actually, you know what? That kind of matches. Ah, oh, blue there. Well, look at that. Hmm. Well. That actually might work just like that. I would need to trim that. I would still need to give her a little bit of a haircut. But I think I might kind of like that. It says, without risk, it become it can become easy to settle into consistency, security, and stability 
without risk, I wonder if we can ever experience growth. Uh, without risk, yeah. So, I kind of like that. I'm going to leave that like that. And we'll go from there. Um, and then on the back, after I'm finished, I'll find something to put on the back. On my other journal like this, I just put a piece of um, kind of pattern type cardstock on the back. Um, just so that there's something back there. It was just a solid piece of paper. Because any collage type thing on there would get, you know, I would have to be careful with it. But I do have collage on the front, so... Maybe I'll do something different that time. So there we go. That's where I'm at with this. I hope that you enjoyed just listening to me ramble on about how I kind of choose my images to, to go on in here. I don't always do it this way. Sometimes I already have an idea in my head. Um, I might have a quote. I might have song lyrics. Um... I might have like just an image here that I have found that is saying, turn me into a page and I will immediately just start with that. Um, it could be a combination of, the, of both, but a lot of times if I'm just really not sure what I'm wanting to do or what I'm wanting to work on, I just kind of go through my, my images and, and see what um, wants to just start coming together. So. I'm going to turn those to the side, keep those at the bottom, because I will be using those on my next one. So, I really like her too. Um, I will let you go for now, or I can keep on babbling about this forever. So, thank you so, so much for being here. Um, I truly appreciate um, each and every one of you, your likes comments um please be sure to subscribe to my channel click on the bell so that you get notifications i am still working in my little um my daily collage book i have not been making any videos for that either it's been a lot going on with um school and work and just things like that and i just kind of stumbled off as far as as getting journal um, videos made for that but I am still plugging away in this and then I've also been doing pages in my nomad book so been keeping very busy and just trying to keep warm right now actually so um thank you again for being here and um I will be talking again with you really really soon bye, -bye.